Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mr. VP and welcome back to the channel. Today what we have in our hands is the 2019 King Ghidorah figure made by Jack Specific for the Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019 movie. This is the 6 inch articulating version. I'm not sure if there's going to be any other versions, but as of right now, it's this one and then there's the smaller one that comes along with the 3 inch figure. So this is probably the best one to get right now. It also includes the Argo Jet from the movie and a piece of Destructible City, which is really cool. Reminds me of some of the 2014 uh, figures that um, Bandai put out where you could, you know, connect little uh, packs of destruction, if you will. Uh, as far as the packaging, it's the standard Godzilla King of the Monsters packaging. So you've got the nice blue everywhere. It looks really cool. Blue and gray. Got the little picture of Godzilla. And then you have this nice backdrop there with the battleships and this is like grayish green um, coloring. Looks very menacing, very cool. I also like how these figures are enclosed. So the Rodan and um, this King Ghidorah in this size are both enclosed so you can't you know, actually touch the figure until you buy it. I'm always a fan of that. So that's it for the front of the box. On the sides of the box, you're just going to get a uh, side view shot with the logos from the movie and then King Ghidorah's name. On this side, it's going to say collect them all. This is showing Rodan also in a six inch. On the bottom of the box, just some boring warnings like don't eat small parts and other copyright information. Here's the UPC code. And on the back of the box, you get a nice little uh, synopsis of who King Ghidorah is. And I'll pause the, you know, you can pause the video if you'd like to see it. And then a uh, stylized version of the figure here. Uh, looks very, very nice. And then on the bottom, some various logos pertaining to Godzilla. Very cool to see that stuff in a 2019 figure. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Why don't we get this thing open and take a closer look? Alright, so we'll start out on this side here. A little snippy snippy. Oops. Let's do that simple. Got a couple ties there. Oops. All right, so there's a little bit of assembly here, so we're going to take uh, the two tail sections and put them into the body here. Now, it's worth noting that there are little numbers on here. Uh, this one says 1, and then this one says 2. I don't know if it'll... Yep, there it is. So that's really important because these are different sizes. And uh, we'll see if we can get them to line up here. I think two goes into this one. Okay. And then one, which looks like a little bit bigger, is going to go into this one here. All right. Now, I'm glad that I saw that because these definitely have two different uh, pegs in them. And if I didn't notice that, I'm sure I would have been having a nice struggle trying to get the wrong one in the wrong hole. But that's it for the assembly. It's really not bad at all. And one thing that I'm going to say before I even continue with this uh, review is, man, this figure has some heft. It is quite heavier than I thought it was going to be, which is nice. Alright, so this is definitely a cool little set. Uh, first off, it's pretty cool that they include that um, that new uh, base ship, if you will, the Argo. It's like a little stealth bomber looking thing. Very cool. And then this three-piece destructible city, that's really cool. That it breaks apart into a few sections. But let's talk about King Ghidorah. This thing is massive. The paint apps look really nice at first glance. 
I thought that it was really just one shade, but uh, there is some subtle paint work going on here, some subtle uh, golds and you know lighter colors blended in. It looks really cool, very, very nice. But as far as articulation goes, you have starting at the tail, the tails you know can both uh, swivel independently of each other. And then moving forward to the legs, you do have full motion on those, obviously limited by the wings. And then moving up to the wings, you have uh, one segment here that rotates in a nice uh, natural motion. And then they're moving up to the heads, so you have three different heads, and the the two on the left side over here of the screen um, just have one point of articulation at the base and then the one on the right has a articulation point a little bit further up. Kind of curious as to why they did that. It's almost as if they want you to be able to remove that head easily. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Uh, but yeah, it's a very good articulation for this figure. It's better than any of the other King Ghidorah figures I've seen out there in the past. It has pretty good balance, although it is very, very top-heavy from these wings. So if you don't put the feet down and put the and, and uh, put the tail in the right spot there, it does tend to flop forward a little bit. Now, paintwork again is minimal, but um, I feel like it's good enough for this figure in this price range. Again, it's mostly that gold color, but there are subtle hints of a darker color blended in here or there. The eyes do have little pupils, which look pretty menacing. And, um, you know, there's nothing in the mouths or the teeth, um, but, you know, that's not a big deal. I really like it. It's definitely a... Uh, Really nice figure, could definitely benefit from a little bit of paint, but overall, you kind of can't beat it for what you're paying for it, so definitely happy to have this. Now let's do some comparisons. Alright, so first we'll show it off with the 12 inch Godzilla made by Jax. Now there is no comparison here, these things are not made to scale, I just figured I would show them together just for the sake of it. This King Ghidorah makes this 12-inch uh, Godzilla look huge. And next up we'll show it with the Bandai Japan Godzilla 2019. Also in the 6-inch variety. So you can see that. And lastly we'll show it with the NECA 6-inch Godzilla. That looks really cool. Now, in the movie, uh, King Ghidorah is a good bit bigger than Godzilla. N you know, not just the wingspan, but also the body. So I feel like this would need to be like this much bigger to be movie accurate. But I feel like you could still make that work. And if you're wondering about the uh, comparison between King Ghidorah and Rodan in the six inch figure collection, I will be reviewing him next, so uh, you'll be able to see those two together in my um, in my Rodan video. So keep an eye out for that. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Um, in conclusion, I would say that this is definitely a must-have for any Godzilla fan, and especially anyone that really enjoys uh, the movie. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun recreating some of the flying scenes with these wings being able to flap and also really cool that the um, head pops off and that you have this little building that you're able to destroy and also that they've included that um, you know mothership if you will. So are you guys going to pick up this figure? Please do let me know in the comment section below. I do love hearing from you guys. And also, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below as well. I hope you enjoyed the video, and keep an eye out for more Jack-specific Godzilla figures that I will be putting up shortly. Hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.